Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. Today I want to make three ATCs for uh, our ATC Stamping Club. And this time the theme is fashion accessories. So I thought long and hard and I thought what kind of fashion accessories can I do? And then I remembered I have this set. This is an oldie from Stamping Up. This is back when I used to buy wooden stamps because I really love looking at wooden stamps, but uh, I can't really use them anymore. I'm going to try. So I'm going to... Um, I don't have the strength to somehow to make a nice crisp image with this. So I've got this. The tip I got from lots of you. Um, stamp on here and uh, I'm gonna cut everything out so I can do it again and again and won't waste my um, ATC paper. Well, that's a nice beginning. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to make some prints of that, with that. I've got some stamping up paper. This is white, Whisper White, the thin version, I think. And it's really awesome. But I want to color it with, maybe with markers. I'm going to use my Memento. And first I'm going to stamp it on a piece of paper that I have. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, this is a nice piece of paper. The first time you print this, is it's usually grey. Well, when I do it. <laughs> oh, and I want to use oxide inks. <laughs> Let's just push them back a little. Okay, here we go. So if this doesn't work, well, then I can do it again. And I'm going to do it again. <laughs> it's not dark enough. Oh, I should have done it a bit more. That's a shame. Oh well. I'm doing it again. I should have stamped a bit more on the edge. Oh well. That one is better. I'm going to use that one. I think you'll see it. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take another piece for the other two. Oh boy. Um, I've got lots and lots of scrap, so... I can use those. So, the bow tie. Oh, I love bow... Who said that? Bow ties are cool. That's what Doctor Who said. <laughs> oh, I might use that on this one. Bow ties are cool. If you're not a fan of Doctor Who, you really need to check those series out. They're amazing. Well, the new series. <laughs> the old ones are funny. <laughs> because they're so old. <laughs> Okay, let's just see if this one works. <laughs> oh boy, now I have bow ties are cool in my head all day. Um, okay, well this worked out fine. I'm gonna leave them to dry and then color them in in a while. First, I need a background. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to use a bit more colors like this and vintage photo walnut stain this one well I'm going to start with this I think for this one I'm going to take peel paint and antique linen what was this and a bit of this or this you know what I'm just I'm just gonna start with something. So some ant antique linen. So this is Distress Oxide inks because I love the way the, the pastel look it gives. And a bit of this. Let's see if that's enough. Spritz it with water and ooh, look at it. I almost like doing that. Okay, it's a bit too green, but we can fix that. First, let me dry it. Of course, I need a bit of kitchen roll. Well, actually I like it, so I'm just gonna go over it a bit more over here. Oh well, green is nice. <laughs> so now you get some darker specks. I'm gonna do it again, dry it again. Dab this a little. 
And I have those nice dark aspects, so I'm going to do this again. <laughs> okay, I like this. Let's keep it like this. Or maybe a bit of one of these. I think I can still pull it up. <laughs> Let's just see. Is that nice? <laughs> I'm not sure yet. You know what? I'm going to spritz it with some water. Okay, actually, I kind of like it. Okay, I'm first going to make all the backgrounds. So, or shall I make them one by one? <laughs> I'm going to make them one by one, guys, because I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. So this one is dry. I think I'm going to use a bow tie. Oh, I'm going to make a pink bow tie. Um, so for that I need some markers. These are Stamping Up Stampin' Blendabilities. Um, not sure if the color is problem with these is that the color is often dar darker than or totally different from from what you see over here this is a bit pink oh, just leave it open and this one is oh that's really dark I've got an idea if I just do this in the middle is this too pink well, we'll find out. <laughs> it is kind of pink. <laughs> That's the fun part when you go into fussy cut it. You, you don't have to stay inside the lines. You know what? I'm going to go over it with a bit of this one. Make it a bit darker. That looks really nice, I think. Yeah, I think it's okay. Okay, let's fussy cut the bow tie. Shall I use the quote? Bow ties are cool. <laughs> I really like it. I can see that part. Uh, I think it was, was it Matt Smith? Yeah, it must have been. Yeah, he wears a bow tie. Duh. <laughs> uh, I might just stamp this. It's very subtle, but here's a little bit of shade. So I might just stamp it on the ATC and then just cut off the shade. Give it a bit of depth. If if you see it at all, actually, but oh well. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say bow ties are cool on this ATC. Okay, now it looks like a butterfly. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. But how am I gonna do that? First, let me stamp this one. Um, where's my ink? Of course, I need this again. Um, like this? Or, well, doesn't matter. Oh, yes, it does matter. Um, it has an upside and a down. Uh, just like this. <laughs> So all I actually need are those two little lines you see over here, the shade. It's okay. <laughs> so. Oh, wait. <laughs> right. You know what I'm going to do? Ooh. I'm going to write. I hope this one works on here. We'll find out. Bow ties are cool. Bow ties are cool. Doctor Who. Let's just see if this works. Bow ties are cool. Doctor Who. Ooh, it just fits. The quote is from Doctor Who. Yeah, well, then you need this, of course. Oh boy. 
and the person who gets this uh, because you, you make three and then everyone ships three to me and I just you know give three others back and then just send them back in an envelope it's really really fun um, I think I'm gonna do this like this <laughs> and uh, I hope that the person who gets this knows who Doctor Who is but I probably not so they have no idea what this is Doctor Who <laughs> So, I hope they watch this video. I'll explain to them. I like it, but it needs something more. Um, I have little bow ties somewhere. Just a second. <laughs> okay, I have these lit two little ones. It's from the Stamping Up set, Truly Tailored. And I really... Oh, you can't see that, I think. I'm gonna show you later on. I really like these two little ones. Um... I'm just gonna look it's a little bow tie <laughs> I just think it's so cute oh now it's a really busy ATC oh well but I really do like it I like it <laughs> okay I really like it so uh, I need a oh let's first put this on here a bit of double sided tape. I need a background for this. This is just a bit smaller than an ATC, an artist trading card, guys. If you're not familiar with ATC, it's an artist trading card. I think it's a Swiss artist. I'm not really sure who started this. It's just little pieces of art that you make. You can stamp, you can do paint or, or do whatever you like, and then just trade it with other artists. So it becomes an artist trading card. <laughs> oh, I like it. Bow ties are cool. Yeah, one down. Two to go. The shoe. I'm gonna go for the shoe. Oh, I already stamped them. So I need to color this one in. I'm gonna use this one with the shoe. Look at this. That's awesome. I just love this so much. Okay, so this is uh, an oldie from Stamping Up, and this is one of the newer ones, truly tailored. I'm not sure if it's still available, but... Um, so what go am I going to use for that? Uh, I think this one... I want to make this... Um, I have no idea yet. I have no idea yet. Um... Vintage photo. I love vintage photo. Let's make this a little bit more brown. Like an old man's shoe. <laughs> so I'm going to start with vintage photo. Just one color. Maybe a bit too much water. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but still. I used a bit too much water. So now you have this pale background, but it looks kind of awesome. So let's do that again, a bit more. Just a bit less water. Look at that color. This is what I want. Oh, love that. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna go over it with a bit of this. I'm not sure if you see that. Probably not. But it looks cool. You know what? I want it to be a bit darker. So I think I'm going to put some walnut stain over here. Just a little bit. Oh, that's dark. <laughs> okay. Let's see what this does. Okay, that's... Oh, it's a bit hot. Um, right. 
<laughs> that looks like dirty old something. Um, so I can color this brown. Let's see, I've got um, crumb, crumb cake, is this? Crumb cake and maybe, I'm not sure if this is too light. Actually, I want this color, but I think that's too dark. Oh, and then this. Oh, this one isn't dark at all. It just doesn't work anymore. Ah, I have so many of these markers that I've never used that don't work. Oh, well, hope the new ones are better. These are the old ones. Ah, you know what? I'm just going to start coloring this. We have to be a bit more careful. I love coloring with uh, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> um, alcohol markers. I just don't love the smell, but it's so nice to color with them. You don't get lines I like that. And this part. <laughs> I feel like I have to color this one as well because you have two shoes, but I only have room for one. <laughs> And it would be the same shoe, so. Let's see what color this is. Oh, well, where's the other one? I think this is what I wanted about. I need to throw that one away, by the way. I keep putting them back if I find one that doesn't work anymore. But I just need to throw them out because I have so many by now. Uh, oh, I like this. These are nice shoes. I think I would wear them myself, actually. <laughs> I love this. What is it called? Argyle pattern. I just love that so much. Okay, of course my battery decided to stop filming, but I think I have everything. If I don't, uh, I just colored this in with crumb cake. Crumb cake and what's this called? This is called wild wasabi. Ooh, I had wasabi once. I wasn't wild about it. <laughs> so these are stamping up blendabilities. And the old ones, um, well, they tend to not work, but the new ones I hope are a bit better. Uh, right, but this one is awesome. So I'm gonna fussy cut this and I think I'm gonna use this color. That was fire brick. Ooh, if you will see it. Let's just fussy cut this one. Ooh, that's a nice color. I like that. So, shall I just try this? I'm just gonna try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, oh, I think I like this better. So I'm gonna put one over here. Oh, you see it? One over here. Surprise. Uh, one over here. And then one over here. I like it. So, um,. Now I think I want to make another border, but I need brown for that. Oh, I think I used that a while ago. Hmm, where is it? Ah, over here. So this is a distress marker and it's just because it's walnut stain, it's the same color. I could have used anything for this, but oh well, it was on my desk. <laughs> okay. I just love this little stamp and, and also the bow tie. I really wanted to buy this set just because of this little stamp. And to be honest, the bow tie. So truly tailored by stamping up. Look how gorgeous that is. That, that little stamp. I'm go uh, Maybe I, I might just leave it on the block like this and have it nearby because I really like it. Okay. Well, I think that's enough. Or do I? Okay.
my favorite two little stamps. You've seen them before. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the little dot and just randomly put some little dots over here. Let's just see where the shoe goes. Over here. What's the cat doing? Something it's not allowed, I think. Um, no, one over here. Not too much. And over here. Just a little bit, but I think one over here. I don't see it. <laughs> okay, that's enough. So you hardly see oh. <laughs> You already see it. <laughs> I showed you the shoe. Yeah, okay. Okay. So I think I'm gonna... Maybe I might... I want to glue the shoe on here, but I think it's gonna be handier if I glue this to the background first, because I want to put this on here with foam tape. So I'm gonna do that later on. I like it. So, one more. So I've got the watch. What color should I do the watch? My favorite colors? That's gonna be a lady watch. Nah. Uh, first, let's make a background. Um, for that, I'm going to use this one. I haven't used that one, I think. Mm. These two. And maybe this one. Ah, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm just gonna start with uh, this one to make a little light background. So I'm just gonna go. Oh, ooh, that's a nice color. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Well, that's really nice. Maybe that's enough. I'm gonna put some of this. What was it? Fire brick. I think that's a really nice color. Oh, bit more, bit more. <laughs> okay, I like this as well. Blotted a bit. Oh, now I'll blot everything off. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of both over here now. I'm not sure if. <laughs> What I'm gonna do, but we'll find out. <laughs> okay, that's just weird. Ah, oh, that's not what I want. <laughs> okay, oh well, this looks nice. <laughs> I think I want it to be a bit darker. So, a bit of walnut stain. Let's hope it's not too dark. More water. It never turns out the way you want it to, but oh well. Oh, okay, guys. Um, I got interrupted again. That seems to be normal. Uh, every video these days. Um, okay, where was I? Uh, this dried up like this. I'm not sure about it, so I need to do something else. So I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a bit more water. Okay. Whoa. Okay. That's not at all what I expected. <laughs> Sometimes it just doesn't work, guys. Oh well. Spritz a bit of water. Do this. Blot it a bit. I'm just gonna go for just a little bit more red. Fire brick. And then I think it's enough. Oh, it's enough. <laughs> this is a strange one. I'm making it worse, aren't I? <laughs> you know what would be nice if you just could flick some drops with this color on here. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna try that. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it like this because it looks really pretty. Um, of course, what I can do is start with going around it with this one and make it a double line. <laughs> okay, that 
looks better. And now, um, I'm going to stamp this one in the middle. Where's my ink? I think I'm going to use a different ink for that um, because this one just gives a better print for me. So, really dark. And I'm going to put it over here. really straight but nice so I'm going to use this one and well what shall I use the red one or vintage photo I think I'm going to use this one and um, color the watch in a really bright colors I am. I think I'm going to use this one. I said it a bit as a joke, but I think I'm going to do that. Let's see what happens if I do that. So, um, right. And I'm just going to cut off the background, let's just say that, um, like this. It's way easier to cut out <laughs> when you do it like this than if you had to, you know, go around all that. <laughs> it's really weird, but I kind of like it. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. I just think it's a bit, it needs a bit more color. I'm going to try a bit of this. So I'm going to use this, give it a lot of water. And I'm going to get a brush. Let's see. That's what I want. And it'll dry up and fade in the background, but still. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Yes. I think it's okay. The last drops were more water than pigment, so they dry up really. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, everything is now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's try this. Well, it's... Of course, because it's wet, it made a little uh, spot, but it's a bit of red. You still see a bit of red in here. I like it. Because um, it's oxide ink, you don't get those bright spots, of course. But I kind of like this. So I'm going to get backgrounds because this one has the same problem. You have to, I want to use this one, this for it, I think. Yeah. Okay. Where's the other one? Backgrounds. For that, I have this again. What shall I use? Um, I think I have. No, that's just too much. I used to have these glittery ones. This one, I think. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, that's one. A simple brown one. Or should I use something pink? <laughs> Let's just see. Wait a minute. I thought I had a pink one. Oh, it's very light. Very, very light. Maybe it's nice under here. Ooh. This one I really love, but do I have something else that's a bit glittery? What's this? Flowers. Ooh. Okay, uh, the pink one is really nice. But I think this one looks better with the rest. I'm just gonna do this. Now I'm just gonna put all these little cards on here with my double-sided tape and I'm not gonna film that because you know how that works. Like this. <laughs> okay. okay guys, almost finished. So this and this one I'm going to use these little foam squares 
four. These are really, really tiny ones, actually. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Normal, they are a bit higher, let's just say that. These are very small ones. Maybe that's nice. Let's just see. Um, 12 o'clock <laughs> has to go up. Oh, I like it. Maybe a pink underneath would have been better, but okay, I like it. And I want it to be a really nice set, so. Okay, this one is gonna go over here. I like it. <laughs> so I have a shoe. <laughs> Just one shoe. <laughs> and a watch and bow ties are cool. What do you think? I actually really like how they turned out. This one I would have loved a bit more brighter, but oh well, I kind of like it. That's just one thing I can try. <laughs> I don't want it to be too much. Oh, well, it's already too much, so it's okay. I can put some of these in here. That's what I wanted. That's what I should have done in the first place. <laughs> I wanted a bit more red in here. And well, that's it. Finished. <laughs> Ta-da! So I hope you like this video of me making these lovely fashion accessor accessories. <laughs> a difficult word. And maybe I'm going to film uh, an A to Z video every month because I need to make some every month. So I might as well film it. So next month it's going to be, well, that's this month. <laughs> it's going to be um, insects. So I have to find some insect steps. Well, that won't be hard. Hope you liked the video. You know I would love a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments down below what you think about, ooh, about these. And if this one turned out okay. It's a bit dark. But actually, I think I like the fact that it's a bit of a dark background. And then this bright watch. It's, yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop talking now. So all that's left to say now is please subscribe. <laughs> and greetings from Holland. Greetings from Holland. Bye.